Hello, I'm Deacon Jimmy Gillioni. And I'm Aaron Ambig, and we're so grateful to have Todd Fries here from our parish uh, joining us today. We just literally just recruited him right after Mass to join us. But again, this is not a delusion. Deacon Jimmy is not wearing his collar this week, but wearing bright white. And you'll see why here uh, regarding this uh, feast we're celebrating. And this week we are celebrating the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. And our question for the week is, are we open to being transfigured in the image of Christ and open to helping others to be transfigured? This week's gospel comes from Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 to 9. That's a great question for the week. You, you know, we think of in the gospel, Peter, James, and John, mm -hmm. they felt this huge rush on top of the mountain in, in the gospel. Mm -hmm. They saw Jesus, he was there, he was transformed, he was transfigured. And the rush that the disciples felt on the top of the mountain, it, it was certainly better, but similar to maybe something I've felt or you guys yeah. have felt or others have felt, when we have that sense of the presence of God in some way, in an intense way in our lives, the presence of Jesus among us or within us. Sometimes we feel that presence, we have that feeling during a parish mission, or during a retreat of some kind, or a Curseal type experience, or whatever mm -hmm. it might be. A lot of times, maybe just throughout the liturgical year, mm -hmm. we feel the presence of Christ in an intense way, one of the peak celebrations of the year, you know, like Christmas time, or Holy Week, or Easter Sunday. Mm -hmm. But what happens between those rushes, between those high mm -hmm. points, those experiences? Because we're really, truly missing the point if we're like holy when we're on top of the mountain, but we're kind of everything but holy when we leave the mountain top. Yeah, because basically at that holiness, you're with the presence of God, then you come down to humanly experiences and sort of screws us up. But why, uh, well, I mean, what was James, John, and Peter thinking up there at that moment? I mean, Jesus is closed, automatically just turned bright white. That's why Deacon Jimmy's got that on. And uh, this voice came from a cloud saying, hey, this is my son. Uh, listen to him and they, Jesus when they're walking out is like hey you guys just saw this unbelievable experience but don't tell anyone <laughs> it's why I've been raised from the dead so what pressure that they had keeping this from everyone at that time because I would have been telling everybody you know but it's just another great story that brings us faith that Jesus is truly the son of man and with the grace of God we all have that same opportunity to transfigure ourselves so are you ready to let God transform you today? I think I am. Oh, I hope I am. Tom? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> we need to trust in him, though. We need to have that faith that if we are open to him, that he will draw us closer to him today more than ever before, today more than yesterday. And then he uses us, too, as ex instruments and examples to draw others to himself. Mm -hmm. We need to let people know that just as his love has transformed and overwhelmed us, his love can also transform and overwhelm them too. So I challenge you all today, you guys, all of us, mm -hmm. myself, to tell people about that mountaintop experience. Tell them about those experiences of our loving Lord working in your life and how, how God has called you and transformed you. Tell them about how you're striving each and every day to live as a disciple of Christ yeah. and how they can too. And speak to them in just plain language, yeah. easy to understand. Mm -hmm. But if we have the courage to do that, then we are truly, truly answering God's call of mm -hmm. being, growing, and making disciples. Yeah, right there is that simple uh, formula for evangelization. I mean, it's that easy to speak it from your heart. And again, I think we just need to you know, increase our faith and belief that Jesus is truly the Son of Man. Because by doing that, by increasing our faith, we will start talking and acting like Jesus. Because he gave us this great roadmap to handle any situation in our lives today. I mean, it's the best leadership book out there, or books of books, but, and that roadmap, it's the Bible. You know, by reading the Bible every day, our belief level will automatically increase because our faith will grow, because we will always have that faith that God is always at our side. The wisdom words of the week are from Pope Francis. Listen to Jesus and follow him.
That's the message of the transfiguration. Pretty simple, down to the point. Yeah. <laughs> Sums it up. Sums it up. Yeah. Every day we can do that, you know. So, uh, in our transformation tool, uh, tool again is ironically a quick introduction to the Bible CD by Matthew Kelly. And again, you know, we talked to that robot that Jesus gave us. Well, Matthew Kelly gives us the simple guide to get the most out of that robot, the Bible, uh, that we can all uh, read every single day. And we're giving out these free copies of the CD over at Morris Hall every Tuesday at 2.10 p.m. Our Transformation Tuesday prayer. Jesus, how do you want me to transform my life today? We'd like to thank in a special way, certainly Tom Fraze for being with us today. As Aaron said, we just recruited him moments before we recorded. Evangelized. Evangelized, that's right. Go out, and, and I'd also like to, to thank our choir for the vocals and things that you hear during our Transformation Tuesday program every week. And to just ask God to continue to bless each and every one of us from Saints Peter and Paul, a spiritual home for everyone, where we are every day striving of being, growing, and making disciples. Amen.